Hey you guys, Juliana here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you have been here before. I um, wanted to do something new this week. Well, I guess it's new and old, so I'm gonna blend the new and the old. But basically I'm going to, um, instead of showing you new content, I'm actually going to show you content that was recorded a couple of years ago or a while back. Um, it, the video that you're going to see used, used to have two parts and was on my channel before. So then I took it back down because I didn't like one of the parts. So I took out that part, the ending part, and then I'm going to just re-upload this video. Um, Begin by applying eyeshadow base to the eyelid first. Begin at the eyelid and then blend it up towards the brow with your finger. Wherever the eyeshadow base is the heaviest is where the color is going to be most opaque. Because this is a smoky eye look, we want most of the color to be heaviest towards the eyelashes. Now with the fluffy dome shaped brush, take a matte brown eyeshadow and sweep it through the hollow of your eye. This will help to define the natural crease of your eyelid. Now to use as a transition color, I'm going to use this matte matte orange blush color and apply it into my crease as well. If you are fair skin complexion, you will want to skip this step, otherwise it will look too dark on your skin. However, if you're a deeper skin complexion like me, this is absolutely perfect because it will help the other eyeshadow colors blend seamlessly and look natural on the skin. With a smudger brush and black eyeshadow, carve out the outer corner of your eyelid. Starting on the outer corner, going into the inner third of your eyelid, but only stay in the crease. Follow it up by going back to that dome shaped brush and applying this deep gray eyeshadow in the crease in windshield wiping motions. Using the black eyeshadow and then following it up with another color on top of it on the outer crease helps to deepen that outer crease without making it as harsh as black would be by itself. Make sure to pull this color up onto your upper lid so that you can see it when your eye is open. The way to do this is not to close your eye when you're applying and blending the color, but to keep it open. Now use your smudger brush to pick up a matte gray eyeshadow. Begin by gently packing on the color on the center of the lid, all the way up to the crease. Once the color is very opaque, move on to the inner corner of the eye and do the same thing. We will blend the colors a little later. Right now, you just want to concentrate on placing the color exactly where you want it. Now that you've applied color to the inner corner, afterwards you're going to apply that same matte gray eyeshadow to the outer corner as well. Now switch your brush because we're going to blend. Use this eye color brush to really identify where the lines of the gray matte eyeshadow begin and blend them out using a windshield wiping motion going back and forth on top of that line. At this point, if your eye looks a little too droopy on the outer corner, wipe off some of that eyeshadow going up towards your temple. This will make your eye appear lifted. Now with an angle brush and a black matte eyeshadow, apply this color at the corner of your eye at an angle. I love this trick because it actually gives the illusion that your eyes are more lifted and kind of slanted when you apply the matte black eyeshadow like this. With that same angle brush, you're gonna wanna pick up gel eyeliner and apply it in your bottom waterline from the outer to the inner corner of your eye. Now on the outer corner, pull that gel eyeliner out towards your temple at an angle to start your winged liner. Now from that wing, pull that color into the top of your eye line to begin your top eyeliner. And now starting on the inner corner, Line your eye with the gel eyeliner slowly and connect it with the line on the outer corner. Now to make your eyes appear a little larger, pull that gel eyeliner from the outer corner underneath your bottom lashes on the outer half of the eye. Now with your smudger brush, Blend that gray eyeshadow all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner underneath your bottom lashes 
this will make your eyes appear larger. Now apply mascara to your top lashes. Confession, I'm gonna make my wing a little bit more dramatic because I know I'm gonna put on false lashes. However, if you're not gonna wear false lashes, you can skip this step. Apply a light colored eyeshadow that is a matte texture to the outer half of the brow bone from the arch to the tail and blend it down on top of that transition color. A matte eyeshadow was chosen instead of a shimmer because I didn't want to draw a lot of attention to the brow bone, but keep a lot of the attention onto the gray smoky eye and the lip color. Now you're going to apply a cheek color that is close to your skin tone. I'm using a matte orange cheek color because the eyes and lips are so dramatic that we want the cheeks to be very muted. Using an eye color brush and a shimmer gold eyeshadow, apply this color along the tops of your cheekbone at a downward angle and blend it into your blush. If you have a fair complexion, consider using a shimmer silver eyeshadow instead. Apply it onto the cupid's bow of your lips to make your lips look fuller, and this will be your perfect highlighter. To make any lipstick look really bright, Consider using the matching lip liner and filling in your entire lip with the lip liner before applying your lipstick. For this look, we're going to fill in the lips with coral lip liner and then follow it up with Always Apricot Gel Semi Matte Lipstick. Filling in your lips with lip liner can also help your lipstick last a lot longer throughout the day and night. Now you're going to apply your lipstick all over that coral lip liner. While this is a beautiful lipstick, as bright and bold as it is, I want to make it appear a little bit more natural. So we're going to create an ombre effect with a darker brown lip liner in order to make this bright, bold lip color look natural on a deeper skin tone. Apply a deep brown lip liner along your natural lip line. Then begin blending the lip color by piercing your lips until the liner isn't as harsh. Next, take your lip brush or a small synthetic brush like a concealer brush and blend out that lip liner until it's a lot softer. Just blend it along the edges. It's easiest if you smile and blend to stretch the skin and make sure there's a smooth application. And that's the look. Before you go, make sure to subscribe and thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, comment below and let me know if you have tried this look or are going to try it in the near future.